relax those shoulders down. Neutral spine position. So if you've got the balance, push out a little bit so you're activating the core already. There. Most of you can see me, yeah? Right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, pelvic floor bustling muscles up onto the balls of the feet, breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth, chuck the shin at chin, chin, chin in, rolling forwards, one vertebra at a time. Hinge the hips back and relax the upper body. Relax the arms, head, neck and shoulders. Straighten the legs, just to the point where you feel a good stretch. Breathing in, breathe out slowly, coming up, draw the abdominals in. Tuck the chin in, feel the opening up the back there. All the way back up, back to the top. Good posture, neutral spine, pelvic floor, bustle muscles up onto the balls of the feet. Breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth, core muscles engaged. Hinge the hips back, and we don't overarch the back. Tuck the chin in, rolling forwards, one vertebra at a time. And relaxing the arms, head, neck and shoulders. I want you to feel a gentle stretch in the back of the legs, so straighten the legs just enough so you get a bit of a stretch there, breathing. Breathe out slowly, coming up. Draw the abdominals in, opening up the spine. And all the way back up. Good, fantastic. Open the chest and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Neutral spine position, chin retracted. And just start off as usual. Try, and keep, try not to move the arms. The arms move because you're moving the shoulder joints. Keep the chin retracted so you're lengthening the back of the neck. Abdominals in, breathing in, breathing out. That's it. Got my head knocked off. There we go. Breathing in and out. That's it. Breathing in and out. So one after the other. So just the shoulders moving. Keep the abdominals engaged. Breathing in. Out normally. And you put one hand on the shoulder and then we'll rotate just one shoulder, breathing in, breathing out. As you take the, the elbow back, draw the abdominals in, squeeze the shoulder blades together, breathing in and out. That's it. And the other one, breathing in, open up the chest, breathing in and out. And then one after the other. Again, keep the hips still, just moving the upper body going backwards and then going forwards that's it and then one forwards and one back if you can coordinate it and the other way great all right now relax pelvic floor busted muscles raise the hands elbows down with the ears that are stretching up stretch the spine here reaching up abdominals in and then all the way back palm space in the back of the room that's it, all the way back. And again, pelvic floor bust muscles, breathing in, breathing out, stretching up, all the way back. Yeah, do move if you need to, you know, <laughs> avoid contact. So, all right, one more time, breathing in. So really stretching up through the spine, abdominals in, stretch, and then reaching one arm up, and the other one. Abdominals in, remember, bust muscles engaged. All right, opening up there, and then pulsing the arms backwards, palms facing the back of the room, that's it. No punching. Good. And then all the way down. Arms behind you. Shrug the shoulders. Breathing in. Breathing out. Remember, as you breathe out, core muscles engaged. Breathing in. Breathing out. And alternating. Lengthening. Stretching. Remember, the stretch is coming from behind you with the shoulder blade moving. Try not to move the shoulder first. Lengthening. That's it, now breathing in, breathing out, stretching. Okay, and then we'll go bring the arms out to the side, but because we haven't got much room, we're going to bring the hands up to the shoulders and then go into our ribcage movement. Keep the elbows behind you, shoulder blades back and down, hips still, chin retracted, and trying to get that ribcage moving. So think of the elbow leading this movement side to side that's it and then we're going to rotate so the hips knees and feet stay absolutely still bend the knees a little bit if you need to move the chest let the arm the arms move because you're moving your chest try not to let the arm come forwards on its own breathing in turn the head towards the arm that's coming forwards okay we're going to hold it there all right open up a little bit more just to make sure 
you know, let the elbow come forwards, breathing in, breathing out, move the chest, turn the head towards the arms coming forwards, and open up a little bit more, squeeze the shoulder blades together, good, and back, breathing in, breathing out, so repeat that, speed it up a little bit, but don't lose, um, obviously, your form, your correct technique here, so turning, and then open a little bit more, and back, turn, open, and back. So this time we're on the diagonal, yeah, we've got more room on the diagonal, and we're going to stretch the arms out from there. And reach, reach from the spine, stretch the arms, reach, take the arms back a little bit more. Good, and then take it to the other side, other diagonal, arms out, open up a little bit more and stretch. Good, and relax. Good, hold it there, and just relax the head forwards and back, chin forwards and back. Keep the core muscles engaged, muscle muscles, breathing in, breathing out, abdominals in, so lengthening the back of the neck, looking up and down, breathing in, breathing out, head forwards, nice and slowly, put that stretch in the back of the neck and the upper back, good, breathing in, breathing out, back to the centre, so feet, knees, hips and shoulders, absolutely still, core muscles engaged and just turn the head the side. Look over the shoulder as far as it's comfortable. I want you to hold it there, open the shoulders a little bit more, shoulder blades back and down and see if you can get that head round just a little bit further because you've opened up the chest a little bit more and back the other way, breathing in, breathing out, abdominals, that's it, turn the head, take the shoulder blades back and down, open the chest a little bit more, try not to move the, uh, the shoulders here Anna. Your shoulders back and down, not twisting, and then see if you can get that head round a little bit further. That's it. And back the other way, breathing in, breathing out. If you want a bit more of a stretch, if you take the opposite hand behind you and you slide it across your bottom muscle like that, it just gives you a little bit more of a stretch and reminds you to open the shoulder there. That's it. Then roll the head forwards and back to the other side, sliding the hand behind you to open up that chest, open up the shoulder a little bit more. Good, all right, and back. And just relax the ear to the shoulder. Again, the opposite shoulder length is away, you can always take it behind you, slide it across your back here, so we're getting a little bit more of a stretch there. Add the arm in, breathing in, breathing out, stretching. Good, and then the other way, breathing in, breathing out, slide that, Arm across your back. Good. All right, hands behind the head, chin retracted, and then head forwards, abdominals in. Good. All right, we're going into our side lunges. So, this position when we're sinking the hips back. Okay. okay. So three points of connection in the spine. We're going to sink the hips backwards. Legs wide enough. So you feel that stretch in the inner thigh, breathing in, breathing out, sink the hips back, abdominals in, that's it, keeping the shoulder blades back and down. If you find the, the upper back's coming forwards, you might keep the hands here on your hips or even arms behind you like that, so you're keeping those shoulder blades back and down, breathing in, breathing out, hinge the hips back, watch that knee, knee level is taking off their toe and make sure it doesn't, the knee doesn't go further forwards. Looking good, and breathing in, breathing out, keep the chest open, shoulder blades back and down. All right, we're going to hold it one side. We're going for our, our deeper stretch, so take the legs a little bit wider, turn the feet outwards. Again, it's up to you how much you turn the feet out. Sink the hips back and down for a deeper stretch. Feel that stretch in the inner thigh, still to keeping your upper body posture in place. Good, all right, then come, come back, same the other side. Adjust the position of the feet if you need to. Open the chest, shoulder blades back and down. Good. All right, we're going to turn into our hip flexor stretch. Okay, so we're turning on, on our lunging. Again, if you want to use the ball or your bands here, grab a band if you want to. It's up to you. Or weights, whatever you've got. got anything, or ball, bands. Yeah, you've got something. Uh, okay, that's it, so we're here. Yeah, that's it. So you can either have a, a, a small step like this or a bigger step. Just go a bit lower if you want to, just so we, we're feeling that stretch in the hip flexor. 
Yep, so arms up, if you've got the band, wind the band up a little bit, stretch it apart, elbows level with the ears. If you've got the ball, give the ball a bit of a squeeze, reaching up, breathing in, breathing out. So abdominals, tip the pelvis under, make sure you're not leaning forwards, keep that back straight, and then we're taking the arms up and over to the side. Draw those abdominals in, stretching the spine as you do this, and back, breathing in, breathing out, up and over the other way. Abdominals in, hip flexor forwards, back to the center, and lifting up the chest, up and back, draw the abdominals in, and you feel the stretch all the way through there. Okay, again, this time we're going to the side. If you've got the band, you might want to bring the arm down a little bit. If you haven't got the band, it doesn't matter, keep the arm slightly behind you, breathing in, breathing out. So bring the elbow behind your back, and you should feel, <coughs> balance, and you should feel your back muscles working. Yes, yeah, so it's like this action, keeping the arm behind you. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> Speak to me. Okay. <laughs> All right, and the other way. <laughs> breathing in, breathing out. Tip the pelvis under and up the other way. Breathing in, breathing out. So if you're taking the arm down, keep the arm slightly behind you, abdominals in. So hopefully you're feeling the back muscles working. Good? Swap sides. Other leg. on the mat, make sure you're wobbly. Yeah. Okay. Tip the pelvis under, breathing in, breathing out. Good. Stretching up. Wind the band up if you need to. Elbows level with the ears, breathe in, breathe out. Stretching up. Tip the pelvis under, reaching up through the spine, and take the arms over to the side. And back. Breathing in, reaching up, and over to the other side, up and back. Oh, okay. <laughs> Back to the center. Stretching up. Lift the chest up. Up and back. Draw those abdominals in. Good. Now over to the side again. This time, let's bring that arm down a little bit lower. Breathing in. Breathing out. Get those back muscles working. That's it. Round the other side. Up and over. That's it. Good. All right. Fantastic. Brilliant. Okay, so we're going into our squatting, so keep the bands if you want to. Or we can use a ball. You okay? Oh, forgot. <laughs> Not this week. I forgot. Oh, you forgot it. Oh, no, don't. I've got I loads of spare ones. Like this, I can spray it if you want. No, I've got, a, I've got, got some weedy one. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, it's not easy enough. You want to borrow one? No. No? Okay. Good. Okay, so feet hip distance apart. So we're going into our squatting, and we'll sink the hips back, breathing in, breathing out, squeeze the bust muscles as you come back up. So with, with the arms, we can have the ball, um, so just give the ball a squeeze, or we can add some arms in if you've got the band. Let me wind it up this way, breathing in, breathing out, so stretch the band apart as you squat down there. And then squeeze as you come back up. Or maybe start here and then reaching out as you go down. As you come back up, stretch the band apart, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Yep, so we're going down, forwards, and then squeeze. And there. And squeeze. Or if you have a favourite one, can anyone have a I have a least favourite one? Do that one. Just <laughs> <laughs> <Is> say <it> favourite. <laughs> Exercise. No, no, no. <laughs> That's it. So when you come back up, squeeze the buttock muscles, push the heels into the mat, squeezing there, squeeze there, squeeze. Okay, so we're going to change the position of the feet. So turn the feet outwards. That's it. And as you come back up, you're going to scoop those inner thighs forwards. Okay, so we're working off the slightly different inner buttock muscles. And we're working those inner thighs as well. So forwards, as you come back up, scoop and then stretch the band apart. So you're going forwards and then scoop. So this action. So turn the feet out. Joe, you need the, um, the legs turned out more. That's it. Okay, carry on even though I'm chatting. That's it. Sink the hips back. Good. Scooping. Have you got that movement? Try not to try not to lean forwards. 
like that, you're going back here. Yeah, so try not to, when you do it, try not to let that happen. Mm. Because literally, it's more like that. That's better Simpson. than squeezing. Yeah, this back, your yeah, back doesn't come forward. Yeah, because mm. that can hurt your lower back. So be careful with that. That's it. Anna, back a bit more with the with the buttocks. <laughs> okay. You're going there. And can you feel the difference? Yeah. Yeah, where can you feel it? All the way up there. Yeah, and? No, up the knees. Knees. <laughs> well, yeah, if you've got, yeah, bring that activation down a bit, a bit lower, John. What it does is it, it, stra it strengthens the muscles around the knees. That's what the activation band does. Okay, so if you've got the right alignment, <clears throat> squeezing, and you should feel it, it, it actually strengthens the muscles around the knees. If it's uncomfortable on your knees, don't go so low. All right, feet turned in, so same thing, squeezing. You know that side line one we do, where we vary the bottom <coughs> muscles. It's doing exactly the same by changing the position of the legs. Yeah. <laughs> so down and squeeze. Don't push the heels into the mat. Squeeze the bottom muscle. Do it there. And squeeze there. I'm going to hold it. And a little double time action. Squeezing bottom muscles. Good. Good. And relax. Okay. What have I forgotten to do? I did this this morning. Front of thigh. Yes! <laughs> Someone reminded me this morning, I went, oh! Oh yes. Okay, so we're doing that front of the thigh stretch. I'm glad you're with me. <laughs> All right, standing nice and tall. Yeah, hold on to the wall if you need to. Knees level if you can. Breathing in, breathing out. Draw the abdominals in. Tip the pelvis forward. Heel in towards the hip. Good, and then foot. Hand on the foot. Both hands on the foot. And repeat that stretch, breathing in, breathing out, tip the glories on the Great, okay. Come on, change sides. Knees level, breathing in, breathing out, tip the pelvis under, push the hip forward. Hold the foot with both hands. Breathing in, breathing out, push that hip forward. Brilliant, okay. So we're gonna get ready to go down onto the mat. And you can take the shoes off if you want to. Uh, no bare, no bare feet on the on the carpet. <clears throat> the third class today. Give me a breath. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least because the other one went out. So no. <laughs> Don't get down on the floor just yet. <laughs> I'm just trying to see if you're concentrating. All right, I was out in front. Let's do our deep stretch for the arm. <laughs> and I've done a th few things around it a different way, haven't I? So we'll go. <laughs> we're getting out of sequence. Right over left. Push the elbows away. Breathing in, breathing out. So just lower the, the elbows and then stretch them up. But when you're doing this, you try and think of opening the shoulder blades here. So you're really getting that stretch in the upper back. Lowering, breathing in. Up. Good, back to the centre, elbows away and extend the forearms. Step the forwards. Good, and then other side, left over right. Remember, if you can't get that position, just do your gentle stretch. That. Push the elbows away, open the shoulder blades, lower, and then up. Breathing in, breathing out, and then extend the forearms away from you. Again, as you open up the shoulder blades, fantastic. All right, interlace the fingers behind you, if you can, and then open up the chest, open up the shoulders, breathing in, breathing out, stretch. Relax, make sure you're not overarching your back here. Draw those abdominals in, breathing in, breathing out, stretching. Great, okay, now we're going to go down to the floor. After <laughs> that, so get everything ready if you're using weights or bands or balls, whatever you want to do. Take the shoes off if you want to. There's no bare feet on the carpet, shoes or trainers, sock foot. Okay, so have your grips ready for using grips. Feet hip distance apart, pushing out against your bands. Okay, up onto the balls of the feet, breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth. Draw the abdominals in, hinge the hips back, pulling forwards, and we're just going into our deeper stretches first. So either hold on to the legs or hold on to the floor. Feet facing forward, so bend the knees just a little bit, breathing in, breathing out. Hinge the hips back, straighten the legs until you feel a good stretch. Keep the abdominals in if you can. 
Arms are gonna bend the knees, breathing in, breathing out. Throwing those in, hands to the hips flat, straighten the legs. Good, bend, and straighten, and then alternate. Bend one straight to the other, breathing in, breathing out. All right, same thing with the feet turned in. So again, getting that deeper stretch, different part of the buttock muscle and back of the legs. Bend the knees, breathing in, breathing out, straightening. Good, breathing in and out, straightening, <coughs> alternating. Bend and straighten the other, hinge that hip back, alternating. Make sure you're still keeping your knee alignment. And then turn the feet out. Bend the knees, breathing in. Breathing out, straighten the legs, hinge the hips back, hold it for a few seconds, and again, bend and straighten, and then alternate. Bend one straight to the other. <clears throat> All right, feet facing forwards, get the left leg out in front of you, sink the hips back, hold the end of the foot, stretch the toes one way down the other way, stretch the toes back. Bring that stretch in the back of the leg, should be the calf. Great, other leg, stretching back. Good. All right, walk the hands forward onto the mat. So into your downward dog stretch as usual. Of course, working at your own levels here. All right, stretching back. No hunching the shoulders. Shoulder blades back and down. Hips up in the air, stretch the arms. Try and get the heels down towards the mat. Come up onto the balls of the feet. Breathe in, breathe out. Stretch the heels back down, followed by your back stretch. Hips up in the air. Just stretching out the spine, really focus on that. Stretching your shoulders away from your arms, up and down. Stretching out the spine, hips up in the air. And then come up onto the balls of the feet. And then bend one knee and straighten the other leg back down, followed by your back stretch. Breathing in, breathing out, stretching back. Up and down. And down. Great. All right, so coming forwards into your plank. Different levels, of course, remember. So ideally, in the end, we want the head a little bit further forwards than your fingers. But if it's too much, just come forwards, like just to that position. Forwards and back, abdominals in. That's the most important thing. No hunching the shoulders. Forwards and back, big stretch as you go back. And then abdominals in as you come forwards. Shoulder blades back and down. If it gets too much, obviously bring your knees onto the mat. That's it. Coming forwards, uh, shoulder blades back and down. Joe, you're a bit rounded um, in the back there. So shoulder blades back and down as you come forwards. Abdominals in. Okay, so as we come forwards now, I'm going to give you a little variation. As we come forwards, so we're in our downward dog. So first of all, we're going to bring the knee up to the front. Take it back again. This is just, this is the first move. Okay. Then we're going diagonally underneath you, which we've done before, which you will know on each side. Good. And this is slightly different, so you're going to bring the leg up and take it that way. And back, so you're taking it to the outside of the arm. Okay, and then the final move, you're holding a plank position, take the leg out to the side, and back, and the other side, and back. So if you've got the activation down, it's quite tough. Mm. Okay, all right, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Don't just look at me. Okay, so in downward dog first as you come forwards. First of all, bring the knee straight up. One leg, and the other one. That's it, if you're not able to do your plank, you can do it from, um, that's it, you're, you're on your knees position. That's it, then diagonally underneath you. And then the other way, so you're actually taking the knee to the outside of the arm. The same, the same arm, that's it. Slightly different, but just opens up the hips. Are you taking your foot as well? Or just the, I've got confused with that one. <laughs> Taking the foot as much as you can. Are you just doing the knee? Just doing the knee. Just doing the knee. Just doing the knee. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, it is the foot as well, right? I was thinking my knee won't go there. Right, the foot. Right, right. Oh, so you won't. Oh, I've got it. Yeah, I've got it. 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 I've
Yes. <laughs> Shall and the memory? One, you're in plank. You're like you're sort oh, of like yeah, sliding yeah. the leg out and round. Take it a bit further than me. I've got the activation back on. That stops you. Round and round. And back, yeah? Okay. Yeah, got it. Got it? Yeah. Oh, now I'm going to change it. Okay, so now, now you're doing the same leg routine, but obviously you're staying forwards in your plank position rather than coming forwards and back. Oh, okay. So hold your plank position and do the same leg action. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, same, but we're not, we're not going forwards and back now. You're holding your plank position and then we can speed it up a little bit if you want to. Yeah, so knee to the front, knee underneath yeah. diagonally, <laughs> then knee outwards. Good, and then you circle the leg round behind you. That's it, okay? Take a rest if you need to. Speed it up if you want to. Oh, and you go for it. Let's have a rest in between. All right, yeah, some sort of variation. Good. That's it, fantastic. Colin, you okay? Yeah? Come John? You've done it once. You've done it once, okay. Remember, keep moving. If you're having a bit of rest, do go and choose Superman exercise. Keeps you warm. I'll have a rest. Yeah, no, I know. I did turn the heating off. Do you want me to turn the heating off? It's probably not. Probably it's need not, it, don't we? It's, the only, windows. it's only warm and it's a bit okay. Yeah, huh. Okay, and relax. <laughs> have we had enough of that one? <laughs> All right. That was a <laughs> And last night. <laughs> All right, stretching back, sit back on your heels. Arms stretch out in front of you, relaxing your back. And from there, I want you to walk the hands a little bit further out to the rear and stretch. Really think of stretching out the spine. Breathing in, breathing out. Sink the hips back, stretch the arms forward. Stretching out the back as well. That's it. So we're going to do our arms. Slight variation, remember, um, no, no hands on the carpet. So if you've got grips, we can put the hand on the grip or, or just bring them slightly to the front. So we're doing this one, will we come over that way? So take the arm out there, and we're taking it across, stretching. And for this one, we're changing the slightly the position of the legs, only if it's comfortable for you. So turn the legs outwards, this opens up your back and hips more, and then we're going across like that. Again, you can, obviously we don't want the hand on the mat, so if you've got something to hold on to there, stretch across, reaching up, and then sink the hips back, breathe in. Breathing out, so it's a nice stretch for the spine. So the arm that's coming across, so if you're over to the right, the left arm is going to stretch more in that left side. Good, we back, and then the other side. So, and then breathing in, breathing out, sliding, and back. Good, all right, back to the center. We're going to go back <coughs> up into your child's pose and hopefully you do a bit more stretched out now bring the hands down by the side of you it's uncomfortable bring the knees back together and then breathe in through the nose breathing out through the mouth Good. all right come back up and into our cat stretch again we've got our new mm -hmm. variations on this breathing in breathing out so tuck the chin in open the shoulder blades draw the abdominals in and curl the hips in a little bit Breathing in, breathing out. Lift the chest, <coughs> draw the shoulder blades back and down, draw the abdominals in. Obviously the head comes up a little bit, but try not to deliberately lift the chin. We don't want to hyperextend the back of the neck and the, and the lower back as well. Try not to over arch that low back. Just rounding, good, and retracting. Breathing in, breathing out, lengthening. Hold it in your, in your that middle position and then we're just gonna move the hips side to side. Abdominals in. Okay. And then we're doing our <coughs> side one. So lift the feet off the mat, put the feet to the side, and turn the head towards the feet. That's it. Knee it back, breathing in, breathing out. And the other way. Speed it up a little bit if you want to, still keeping control there. Breathing in, breathing out. Abdominals in, don't let the back arch. That's it. Side to side there. That's it. So tap the feet on the mat in between. That's it. And there. In. Breathing out. Good. All right. Fantastic. Okay. <coughs> roll back down. Uh, I roll over on me, so we're going into our rolling down. Okay. So using your balance, using your ball, using your weights, whatever you've got. Breathing in, breathing out, rolling back. And we can move the, the 
activation band, you might need to bring it lower so you've got that connection there uh, through the core. That's it. Breathing in, breathing out. Just opening up the spine, draw those abdominals in. And remember, particularly when you come up, squeeze the buttock muscles. Push the knees out a little bit so you've got your correct knee alignment. And obviously, if you're working, you've got the activation then you're working the legs a little bit more. Cool. So only go down as far um, as it's comfortable for you. You're still working on that pretty much the, the lower back mobility. A uh, nice way to do it is with the ball here. So we're just working on that, uh, particularly early on in the course. So up to you if you want to give that one a go. I quite like it. Breathing in, breathing out buttock muscles, and it just helps with that um, support, doesn't it? It supports, yeah, you can draw the abdominals in and just work. You can really sink, open the shoulder blades and sink your lower back into the ball. So up to you. Yeah, anybody, did you want to borrow the ball? I can spray it. No, you can. Jane, you're all right? You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> when, when will it ever end? It's I know. I believe it, isn't it? Tell me. A year ago, you wouldn't think about it, would you? Don't have another complete lockdown. No, no, no. My sister's lives in the area of Kirk Dillon. She's in oh, the lockdown. In lockdown. <laughs> Luckily, she works from home anyway. Not be. It's all right if you live with someone, but if you're on your own, no, it's just a nightmare. Yep. Not much. Oh, no. Mm. Excellent. Okay, so add, adding your arms in if you want to, add your weights in. Okay, so if you want to add the band in, squeeze the band. And we're going diagonally, breathing in, breathing out, squeezing the buttock muscles as you come back up. That's it. That's it. So Jane, if you want to work hard, you can bring the leg off as you haven't got any um, tricks. <laughs> tricks, <laughs> tricks and tricks. <laughs> I've got the roller. Can you get on the roller? <laughs> I've never been one to. No. Oh, that's for Duncan. Duncan comes to the last class and says, "We've got everything. Bands, rollers, the whole lot." <laughs> that's it. Squeezing that buttock muscle, draw the abdominals in, and then eventually, okay, bring it back a little bit further. As long as you can come back up without straining. Squeeze the buttock muscle to support you. Push out against your bands if you're using one. That's it. Right, hold it, diagonally, right, little pulsing action, forwards and back. Anybody using the band for this way? Okay, we'll bring the band back a little bit if you want to. Squeeze the buttock muscle, turn the other way. And then come back. All right, now relax, hug your knees, try to sleep back in, come out. Alright, roll back down, <clears throat> onto your mat, and into our opposite arm and opposite leg, using the board if you want to, behind the head, using weights if you want to, if you've got grips, you might want to just hold the grips for a little bit more core activation, everyone okay? Good, so feet, knees, hips and shoulders in alignment as always, neutral spine position, push your lower back into the mat, breathing in, breathing out. Opposite arm and opposite leg. And when you get to the floor, let's have a really big stretch through the spine. Stretch the leg, stretch the arm, press your back towards the mat. Breathing in, breathing out, lengthening, stretching. Keep that shoulder blade pressed into the mat as well. Good, bury it. Of course, we can take both arms back, one leg forward, stretching. Okay, breathing in, breathing out, lengthening. Both arms out to the side, opening up there. That's it. Breathing in, breathing out. And then take the arms back all the way around in a big circle. One leg forwards. Just keep the chin tucked in. That's it. Good. Everyone okay? So coming up in, into your uh, various different tabletop variations. So first of all, remember, just 
you're trying to work <clears throat> in your core. One knee up, one knee down, squeezing the bicep muscles as well, this is great. Uh, for the pelvis, your bicep muscles and sorting out if you've got one side stronger than the other. Squeezing that bottom muscle up and down with or without the arms and then one up with or one up, one down. That's it. Yeah. Good and finally into your tabletop you're just tapping the foot to the floor making sure you're drawing the abdominals in so your back isn't arching and then eventually extending the leg completely out level floor parallel with the floor as long as you can keep that neutral spine position breathing in breathing out lengthening stretching and everyone okay any questions no thanks all right keep going then that's it extending the leg if you want to parallel with the floor or sort of or that halfway one some of you are doing the halfway one okay so we're here and we're just taking it out that position, breathing in, breathing out. There. Okay, hands on the knees. Squeeze the feet together. We're going to squeeze, uh, take the legs apart. Squeeze the feet as you bring the knees back in. Extend the legs, abdominals in, and then curl up. Hold it there. Bring the arms round in a circle. And then back again. Breathing in, breathing out, knees apart, squeeze the feet together, bring the knees back in, abdominals in, extend the legs. Coming up, lift the chest up, and a big circle with the arms two or three times. Keep those abdominals in. And then all come back down again. Okay, breathing in, breathing out, opening, squeezing, extending. Remember, you can always keep the hands behind the head if you want to. And come back. Breathing in, breathing out, knees apart, squeezing, extending, curling up. All right, point your toes and flex the feet. This time I want you to reach up, pulsing action as you point, pulsing out action as you flex. So you're leading with the heels, leading with the toes, draw those abdominals in. If it's too much, keep the hands behind the head. So you should really feel this in your, in your lower abdominals. Yeah? No, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Point and flex. Point, draw the abdominals in. Point and flex. Okay, so from there, we're going to take the legs apart and together. So you can keep the hands on the mat, you can keep the hands behind you. So we're going apart and together. Breathing in, breathing out. So nice big movement first. And then we're just doing a little, little small action. Pulsing there, side to side. Good, and relax. Good. Uh, it's quite challenging, particularly if you've got the band on. Good, knees into the chest, circle the hips round. One way and the other way. That's it, good. Arms out to the side. Again, make sure you're not touching the mat. No hands on the mat. Um, or make sure you gel afterwards, or just use the hands in your grips, or hands in this position, maybe on the mat, like that. And then we're rolling side to side into your little spine stretch. Okay? All right? Okay. That's it. I'm just going to nip in here. Okay. Good, and we're doing our deeper one. Imagine when we do it with the feet apart, opens up the hips and the back a little bit more. So, legs a little bit wider. Same stretch. Taking the arms the other way, or arms out to the side. That's it. Rolling that spine in. Breathing in, breathing out. There. 
All right, then into your spine stretch. So both legs out, stretch the arms up, point the toes, flex the feet, big stretch out. And then bring the left knee in towards your chest, press your back into the mat. Point the toes, flex the feet, draw that leg in. And again, stretching out, point the toes, flex the feet, bring the right leg in, press your lower back into the mat. Curl up if you want to, point the toes, flex the feet, do it out again, one more each side, lengthening, stretching first, bring the leg in. Good, <clears throat> stretching out again, last time, breathing in, breathing out. All right, roll over onto your side. <coughs> and so let's do side lying and exercise. So rest your head on your arm. Bend your straight. Okay, so I want you to bend both knees. So we're not doing a clam shell. Okay, we're doing the other one. So your knees are level with your hips, feet are level with your knees. So your legs are at right angles. So bring the knees up a little bit and bring the feet out a little bit. That's it. So we're like that. Yeah, not, not feet tucked under, that's it. Yeah, so we're lifting the leg up in that position. sitting on the chair. Yeah, sitting on the chair, thank you. <laughs> All right, breathing in, breathing out. So abdominals, squeeze both bicep muscles and you're lifting that leg up and down. Make sure the hip, you're not rolling the hip back. Okay, so the knee stays level with the hip. Breathing in, breathing out, lift and lower. Okay, so if you've got the activation band, Bring it down a little bit to give you more core activation. Or if it's too much, bring the band a little bit higher. Okay, breathing in, breathing out. So this is level one. Okay, if you want a bit more energy into the exercise, take the leg out in front of you, and your top leg comes up and down from there. Breathing in as you lower, breathing out as you lift. Okay, that's it. And then third level, you can take both legs out in front of you again don't much you don't risk my legs on the floor if you actually know if you've got socks on <laughs> that's it honestly <laughs> okay so work at your own level breathing in as you lower breathing out as you lift whichever one you're doing roll those abdominals in and then we're going to leave the leg at the top of the movement little pulsing action there all right, and then bend the knee and straighten your leg in this position. Turn the knee towards the floor and turn the knee towards the ceiling. Breathing in and breathing out. Still abdominals in. And make sure really not the bicep muscles ache. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right, roll over. And then we'll just do that on the other side. Okay, so legs at right angles. All right, breathing in, breathing out, abdominals, lift that top leg, breathing in as you lower, breathing out as you lift. So level one with the top knee bent, level two with the top leg straight, out in front of you, and level three, both legs out. Okay, so Anna, bring the leg further up towards you, that way, go the other way, a bit more, that's it. <laughs> then then they lift the leg up from there. <laughs> lift the leg up, that's it. So you're in this position. If it's too much, you do it with the, the bent knee. Yeah? Okay, fantastic. Everyone okay? Yeah, Angie? Yeah. Pressing yeah, already? That's it. So work at your own level. Don't let the hips roll back. Breathing in. Breathing out. Good. All right, hold it at the top of the movement, little pulsing action, whether you've got the leg bent or straight. Up to you. All the abdominals in, and then bring the knee back in. Drop the knee towards the floor, knee towards the ceiling. So we're really activating those deeper bicep muscles. Knee towards the floor, and then turn the knee up, knee towards the ceiling. That's it. Can you feel that? Yep. Yeah. Anna? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Might need to lift, lift the leg up a bit higher if you're not feeling it. Good. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. Roll back over. If you've got the band on, take it off now. 
All right, knees in towards the chest, hands in between the legs, grab your ankles, drop the feet in towards you, and turn the knees out to the side. Good, breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth. Okay, so grab one of your bands. Your leg stretches. So wrap the band around the left foot. <coughs> right leg out along the mat. Point your toes, flex the feet. Work on that flexibility <coughs> of the back of the leg. Breathing as you point, breathing out as you flex. Wind the band up a little bit more. Have a bit more resistance there when you feel you can. Draw that leg up a little bit further. Good. Again, if you haven't got the band, don't reach up, hold the end of your foot, just direct it back. Don't forget to do that, that's it. <laughs> Good, all right. Hold the band in one hand, get the left leg over to the right. So if you haven't got the band, you may want to do it with a bent knee, that's it. There you go. All right, bring your leg across, keep the foot flexed. And then press and release that leg. Release and back in. All right, bring the leg back, swap hands. And then take the leg outwards. As well as taking the leg out, turn the leg out as well. And then move that leg up and down there. All right, bring the leg back. Swap legs. Right foot, left leg out along the back. Point the toe, flex the foot. Stretching that foot back a little bit more. Point, and flex. And then move that leg forwards and backwards. All right, hold the band in one hand, take the right leg over to your left, flex the foot, and move that leg forwards and backwards. Okay, bring the leg back. Swap legs, flex the foot, move that leg forwards and backwards. All right, bring the leg back <clears throat> into your hip stretch, left foot on the bed by the knee, level pelvis, turn the leg out to the side, do a hip stretch, and change legs. So before we go into our relaxation, we're going to do that spine stretch we do. Do you remember that one? Our new one. So sitting up. <laughs> we're not done this with you. Okay, so bring the left leg over the right one. Where are we going? Oh, my, my friend came. Oh, the other one. That's the one, yeah. And she was doing that, this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I have done it before with you then. No, no. she showed me. Okay, so listen very carefully. <laughs> left leg over the right. All go so you put your right leg over your left. If you know what you're doing, it doesn't matter, but I'm just trying to. <laughs> so, yeah, so left leg over the right. Right arm over the left. <laughs> okay, so you're using this arm to stretch the leg across. And if it's uncomfortable, first of all, just hold underneath the knee, draw it in towards you. Don't, don't round the back like that, just stretching forwards and you'll feel the stretch here in the low back and your, your buttock muscle. Okay, so if that feels comfortable, take your right leg over the left and you're using this arm or the hand to bring that leg around a little bit more. Your left shoulder is facing the back, take the left arm out behind you and you turn the head towards the arm at the back as well. So your left shoulder is going back and with your right arm you're stretching your leg around your, your left leg around that way so it's a nice stretch for your buttock muscle for your hips and for your low back as well and the head and the chest and the shoulders good relax breathing in breathing out and then one more time stretching good and then stretch the other side good. Good. When, I, when i used to do it years ago like in my 20s 30s i used to do this arm underneath back there and they used to join the hands <laughs> One of my ladies on Friday can still do it. Wow. I know. Give it a go. 
maybe by the end of the course. Oh, it's getting better. <laughs> Not the other side. Not your hip replacement. Okay, so right over the left. <laughs> Leslie with me, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So first of all, draw that leg in, bring the knee in, and stretch your back and the buttock muscle. Then take the left arm on top of the right, and you just use the arm to stretch the leg over a little bit more. Right shoulder goes to the back, right arm out behind you, and we turn the head towards the back of the room. Breathing in, breathing out. Stretching, so right shoulder goes one way, leg, left, right leg goes the other way, feel that stretch, relax. Breathing in, breathing out and again. Stretching, breathe the leg in a little bit more. Bring the arm over a little bit further as you become a little bit more flexible there. That's good, and relax. I hope by the end of the course, we'll all be doing that one. <laughs> Except me and Leslie. <laughs> All right, roll back. So we're going into a relaxation now. So onto your back, onto your front, again, up to you. So first of all, concentrate on letting all the muscles relax, sink into the floor, sink into the mat. So relax the neck. Relax the shoulders, relax the arms. Relax your back. Relax your legs. I'm going to bring blankets, aren't Yeah, I know. Yeah, maybe it's as we go into the winter. <laughs> Water bottles. <laughs> it never gets out of here. I can't shut the windows yet because I've got another glass. No, no. <laughs> oh, that's the way it is, isn't it? So no tension in the body. Relax your back, relax your hips. Legs bent, legs straight. And then add in your Pilates breathing. So deep breath in through the nose, your chest expanding. Hold it for a few seconds. Long, slow breath out through the mouth. Rib cage closing. Again, holding it for a few seconds. Breathe it in through the nose, rib cage. Holding it, breathe out through the mouth. Okay, so continue that breathing pattern in your own time. And try to hold the breaths a little bit longer. And that helps your breathing slow down. And then, then you get into a state of relaxation. Breathing in. Breathing out. No tension anywhere in the body. Slowly come back up. Yeah, so bend your knees. If you straighten your legs, roll over. Back into our cat stretch position. Breathing in, breathing out. Tap the chin under, opening the shoulder blades. Breathing in, breathing out. Lift the chest, shoulder blades back and down, abdominals in. Breathing in, breathing out. And then from our neutral spine position, Let's go into that other stretch we did. Take your feet to the left, head to the left. To the floor, breathing in, breathing out. So just stretching out the back, stretching out the hips a little bit more. Good. And then downward dog stretch. So stretching that. Focus on stretching the spine, stretching the arms, shoulder blades back and down. And then try and get the heels down towards the mat. All right, bend and straighten. Alternate legs, stretch that heel a little bit more, stretching out the spine. And then walk the hands up towards the feet. Breathe in, breathe out, slowly rolling up, tuck the chin in, opening up the spine. Feet, knees, hips, and shoulders. A little more line. Yeah, all right. Open up the chest, arms behind you. Breathing in and out, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Think about your posture. And then stretching up both arms up. From there, stretch a little bit more. Think of the spine reaching up 
and then reaching one arm up and the other one. Abdominals on the floor, stretching. Hands behind the head, tuck the chin in, bring the head forwards. And slowly coming up. 